right, so um, I came from the University of Alberta where I did both my undergrad and uh, master's degrees. Uh, my undergrad was just specialization in mathematics and my master's degree uh, started off in optimization but then uh, went into geometry instead. So I have completed my bachelor's and master's uh, in applied statistics from the Institute of Statistical Research and Training, which is also known as ISRT, from the University of Dhaka. My name is Mark Gerard, and I'm originally from Boulder, Colorado. And uh, I did my master's degree in Germany before deciding to come to Calgary to do a PhD. Uh, I come from Eastern Quebec, and I did my undergrad degree at McGill in Montreal. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Juan Dong. I'm currently a second year master's student in applied mathematics. So I did my undergraduate in China. I just came here in September 2000. Uh, in my PhD program, it involved me looking at these things called polytopes. Now polytopes have flat faces, so a thing like a ball uh, is not a polytope. So those are not under consideration. However, uh, something such as this, which has uh, flat faces, is a polytope. Now, a polytope has uh, faces of different dimensions. Information, but in the in the traditional sense of information theory, information is only stored in strings of zeros and ones, so bits. But it turns out that we can make use of, of quantum theory. And quantum mechanics is, is really the physical theory of how small particles behave, so atoms and photons and how they interact. And it's vastly different from what we're used to in classical physics for larger objects. And it turns out that we can use these, these quantum systems so we can make use of, of atoms and, and photons and control them directly. Uh, and we can use these in order to, to do the same thing that we would do in traditional information theory. We can store and transmit and manipulate information, but all in terms of manipulating individual atoms. Uh, my research is in number theory, more specifically uh, with elliptic curves, and I study isogenies, which are maps of elliptic curves satisfying certain properties. Basically, what I'm doing is pricing the corporate derivatives in the market, for example, corporate bonds. Um, so. At its core, Quantum physics is, or quantum mechanics is really a mathematical theory, and so there's a lot of really deep and sophisticated mathematics behind the theory that really only beginning to understand uh, its importance of. And having a, a really thorough understanding of these sophisticated ma mathematical techniques that have been known for a long time in the mathematical world, we're now only starting to realize and understand them and their applications in, in the physical world as, in terms of quantum information theory. And so having a full understanding of these mathematical tools and techniques will certainly, uh, I hope, will in the future give us a lot more insight into how we can use quantum information theory. Uh, my research is mainly focused on variable selection. Uh, so for example, in a linear regression model, if you have a large number of predictors to go into the model, and we have limited previous experience about this study, then it is hard for us to determine a small number of predictors such that only these predictors contribute to the response of interest. There What's surprising is that in four dimensions, you can have polytopes that have lots of vertices and there's an edge between all of them. And these are called neighborly polytopes. So my research involves looking at neighborly polytopes and seeing how to construct them. And given a construction, uh, one of the projects I looked at was trying to make the construction more efficient so that we could continue constructing. But you know, the real market is not always like the crucial assumptions we make in the model. But sometimes it fails. So how to price a financial derivative in the market if the market is not complete becomes a very serious question. And this is exactly what I'm doing. Like how to price the corporate bond in the market when black shows market model fails under some circumstances. One of the fields where variable selection is used is medical science. So for example, if you have in genetic data, thousands of genes are listed against one individual. Mm, and we can use the variable selection tool to select the important genes that contribute significantly to some disease. This knowledge is of great importance uh, because uh, if we know the responsible genes for any particular disease, I mean, the medical experts can uh, further investigate to explore why and how these genes contribute to the disease and eventually come up with some solution that may, may minimize the risk of the disease, which is great. Um, 
I came to the University of Calgary because I really wanted to keep with geometry and there was a strong geometry group here, uh, as well as they offered me an entrance scholarship to, to come here. So uh, both of these things made my decision. Well, it's fun too. And Calgary is close to mountains and I have been there several times and I will be. It's really awesome to be in the middle of the nature for some time. Uh, so these are the main motivating reasons I would say. So my supervisor, funding, and capital. Uh, I chose to come to Calgary for a few reasons. Uh, probably the most important one is certainly the proximity to mountains. I love mountains. I go there as often as I can to hike and ski, and in the summer I camp. Uh, yeah, that was definitely a big draw for me. Was the natural beauty of the Canadian Rocky Mountains. And in addition, um, in my my field of research that I'm interested in there was one particular professor here at the University of Calgary whose research really did you choose the University of Calgary? Uh, I wanted to come to a math department that had a big crypto and number. I also got some offers from other universities in Canada. You know, some of them were one year, some of them were one half year, and you know, U of C is a two-year degree.